Welcome back to another Modisoft back office video. My name is Jonathan, and today we're going to be going over on how to convert your regular retail MPOS into a customer kiosk so that your customers can use this point of sale for the, if you have a deli inside your C store or your restaurant. So first thing you need to be made aware of is that in order for this to change into a kiosk, there are some settings that you are going to have to do in the point of sale so that whenever you do switch it over to the kiosk, that it will activate these settings properly. Because without these settings, your kiosk will not be able to be used properly. So first thing you're going to do is once you are in your point of sale, you are able to go into your settings in the top right corner and then go to the POS type setting. So once you go inside, you will see on the right here, there is a MPOS kiosk, and there are four different options that you can choose for your kiosk setup. So once this page opens, you will see on the right-hand side here for your MPOS kiosk, the first option is gonna be pay at cashier with QR barcode. So what this means is that whenever your customer goes up to order something off of this kiosk and whenever they're ready to cash out, they will not be able to pay at the register with your standard payments like cash, check, credit, or whatever tenders that you normally accept. Instead, whenever they hit the pay at cashier button, it's going to print out a receipt with a QR barcode that they will in turn take to the actual cash register so they can pay for their order. So if you do check mark this, then that will be an option for your customers. Another option that they have here is pay here by card. So if you have purchased any of our credit card devices, whether it's the PAX or Ingenico credit card machines for your location, and if you integrate them and set them up here on the Modisoft register, then it will give your customers an option to pay for the order with their credit card. Another option here is allow scan items. So this right here will be mainly if you had, for example, a grocery store and your customers were going to the kiosk and it was kind of like a self checkout where they want to scan their groceries and check out and pay at the register. If you have a grocery type environment, you would normally check mark the pay by card and scan items at the same time so your customers can pay for their order. Now the last option here is a portrait orientation. So if you have a tablet, such as an iPad or a Samsung Galaxy tablet, and you don't want to use it in your standard landscape mode, you can change it to where it will be in the portrait orientation. So once you have checked the settings that you will use for your kiosk, just hit save. And now you will be able to use the kiosk mode. So once the settings have been done and you are now ready to change your point of sale into the kiosk mode, again, you will go to the top right corner, go to switch app, and then you will see the kiosk option right here. Once you click on the kiosk, it's gonna open up your front landing page for your customers so that they can touch the screen and begin their order. So whenever your customers come to place an order, they will click on the screen and then whatever you have already created in the back office for your speed keys and items will show up on this screen. So your customers can scroll through all of your items and then select whatever they wanna purchase or if there's certain sections such as coffee, maybe you have you know tacos, burgers, whatever, then they can choose a category that they want to shop, whenever they click it, they just add the item to the cart. So once they add their items to the cart, everything will show up here on the right-hand side as far as what your customer will now owe. So if a customer wants to add extra items, they can either click on this again and then press the plus arrow so that it will update the cart or if they want to, they can actually go to the card itself and actually click on this line item and it will do the same thing so that they can update the cart. Now, if the customer wants to remove it, then all they have to do is just press the minus until it gets to zero and then it will prompt them to remove this item from the cart and then it will go away. 
So whenever a customer is ready to place their order and whenever they are ready to check out, all they have to do is hit check out. So once they hit that checkout button, it's going to give them an option to how are they going to pay for this transaction. So they will be able to pay, like I said, depending on what you set in the settings, they can either pay with the credit card or they can have that pay at cashier option. Now, if they do a pay at cashier, they will get this type of a response. It'll show that the order has been completed. It gives them an order number. And then again, it's going to print out that receipt with the QR barcode so that they can take it to the cashier and pay for that order. So now if a customer decides to pay with the credit card, it's going to be basically the same process, except this time whenever they hit the card payment. So if the customer is a loyalty customer, they will hit yes, and then enter their phone number here for their loyalty ID. It will search for them and then all of their information pops up here showing that you know what rewards they have on their account what they've gained over you know the time that they've been shopping at your location and then they can select their information for them and then the system will ask if they want to actually redeem those rewards on the account to apply these rewards balance to the order they can either choose yes or no if they choose yes it will remove the 219 from their cart total of 432 and then the customer just has to pay the remaining balance if they don't want to redeem their amount right now and maybe they want to shop a little bit more and get a higher rewards balance and then use it for a later date the customer will just hit no and then the credit card processing part will show up on the screen so once that payment goes through then the customer can just take their order and they are done. So that's a great benefit to use the credit card machines if you have that capability. Now as a cashier for this device, since your customers are using this throughout the day, you'll notice that there is no options to access any kind of menus or anything like that because you don't, or we don't want the customers to be able to accidentally click on the menus and maybe you know, mess around with your system in any kind of way. So we have implemented a feature on the kiosk. So at the end of the day, for example, when you want to close this register out, maybe you have accepted credit cards, so you want to run a closed day on this register, then in order to get to the menu screen, you will need to, at the very top, you see where all your speed keys are, you just need to hold down a speed key or any of them doesn't matter where anywhere on the top as long as you hold it down for at least five seconds then you will see your menu pop up so in order to access this menu you do have to provide your password that you use to log in and log out of this register so once you input that password then it will allow you to do things such as change settings if you need to run that closed day you're able to go to the more tab you're able to hit the close day if you need to reprint a receipt for a customer as well because maybe you ran out of paper machine jammed or whatever and you need to reprint that receipt for the customer you can actually again put your password in go to the receipt page and reprint that receipt out for the customer another thing is that once you're in this menu as well you do have the ability to switch back to the point of sale so if for any reason you decide to stop using this register as a kiosk and you want to go back to using it as a standard POS system, or even if you just want to go into the back office and run reporting, you have the capabilities to click on the buttons, switch the app, and then it'll switch you back out from the kiosk to the standard POS. Or if you want to go to the back office, it will switch you out to the back office. We hope that you found this guide useful in better understanding your Modisoft back office. Please like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you will always be up to date on your Modisoft back office. Thank you and have a wonderful day.